They've got chips stacked on chips. They've got low-end GPUs. They've got a completely revamped mobile platform. Is there anything more satisfying than competition? Because that's what this looks like. AMD's CES announcements are all responses to the competition, be it defending the crown that they just took from Intel or matching Nvidia card for card. But the question remains, can AMD maintain their dominant position? Or in 2022, are we witnessing early stage Intel level desperation? One thing's certain, things are getting very interesting. Pebblehost offers dedicated servers starting from $39.99 a month with a range of systems for all use cases. Use code Linus for 30% off your first month, valid for the first 100 people who use it. You could call what AMD is doing with the Ryzen 7 5800X3D a stopgap, and you'd be right to do so. But it's a preview of what's to come. Let me explain. The 5800X3D is mostly the same chip as 2022's Ryzen 7 5800X. It's got eight cores, 16 threads, and actually slightly lower core clocks, but it's got double the cache at 64 megs thanks to AMD's 3D vCache technology, which they first showed off at Computex 2021. AMD claims this makes it the world's fastest gaming CPU, which is a claim we'll have to verify for ourselves. Right now, it seems more like a proof of concept in response to Intel's recent successes more than anything else. But at the end of the day, that's what competition looks like, isn't it? Remember when Intel released the Core i9-9900KS to compete with Ryzen's first true overtake with Ryzen 3000? You are going to need a beefy cooler in order to get the best performance out of it. AMD may not be as desperate as Team Blue was back then, but little moves like this are a way to stay competitive while the real response is in the oven. But why is AMD only launching one 3D vCache chip? Two words, Zen 4, baby. Get it, because it's two words and a number. Anyway, due out in the second half of 2022, Zen 4 is AMD's true next gen, complete with a new socket, AM5. Not much is known about what Zen 4 looks like just yet, aside from that it has a very interesting IHS design and that it's confirmed to be manufactured on five nanometers. But we do know the new socket will be using a LAN grid array like Intel has for so long and the platform will support PCI Express Gen 5 and DDR5. So AMD will be right up there with Intel just in time for DDR5 to hopefully be worth buying. We're not sure whether AMD is planning to split their CPUs up into efficiency cores and performance cores like Intel's been doing, but chances are they're going to bet big on 3D vCache. But as much as desktop Ryzen is what everyone's excited about, mobile Ryzen is receiving a lot more updates, albeit with a familiar problem. On laptops, Ryzen 6000 is going to be Zen 3 Plus. Zen 3 with 50 new and enhanced power management features added onto it. AMD, please name desktop Zen 4 Ryzen 7000. Don't make the Ryzen 3000 mistake again. And buy a water bottle from LTTstore.com. Doesn't matter what size, you just make weird decisions when you're dehydrated. Ryzen 6000 Mobile shouldn't be defined by potential naming conflicts though. The integrated graphics has been updated from Radeon Vega to RDNA 2 compute units that are, according to AMD, double the performance of Ryzen 5000 Mobile, and even Nvidia's MX450 supposedly falls behind the new APU. And I can believe that. The Xbox Series S runs 20 RDNA 2 compute units after all, and from what AMD has shown, 1080p low on AAA titles runs around 40 FPS average on thin and light notebooks. But it's not just about performance. If you recall, Vega wasn't exactly a power efficient architecture, and AMD is claiming 30% lower power consumption for video conferencing and a whopping 40% improvement in streaming Netflix. That equates to what AMD claims is a three hour battery life improvement for up to 24 hours. Couple that with DDR5, HDMI 2.1, USB 4, and even Microsoft's Pluton security silicon, and you've got basically everything you'd want in a modern laptop, at least on paper. We'll see starting in February. Also launching in February are gaming laptops with new Radeon dedicated mobile GPUs, the new RX 6000 S series tuned for power efficiency, and an updated RX 6000 M lineup running with higher clock speeds and faster memory for what AMD is claiming a 14% or so performance improvement on average. Look for the 50s in the mid-range and high end, and look for the RX 6500M and 6300M on the low end, the latter of which is supposedly twice as fast as Nvidia's GeForce MX450. And that's not too surprising considering the RDNA 2 APUs are already supposed to be as fast or faster than those, so there you go. NVIDIA is on notice. 
It's not the GPUs themselves that are super exciting though. It's how they integrate with AMD's updated Advantage platform, which now stipulates the new Radeon graphics, Ryzen 6000 processors, and FreeSync Premium with 144 Hz or faster Full HD and 120 Hz or faster QHD and 4K displays. So the refreshed GPUs will be connected to some quality hardware. Not only that, but there's new smart technologies in the mix too. SmartShift Max, which is basically just version two of AMD's dynamic power balancing feature for Ryzen and Radeon mobile chips, now works in more games. And thanks to tweaks to its algorithm, AMD claims it provides better results in the games that it already did work with. They say it's about twice as efficient as the original version, which isn't bad for a 2.0. They've paired this with what they're calling SmartShift Eco, which effectively forces games to run on the RDNA 2 APU instead of the dedicated graphics if the AC adapter is unplugged. You can turn this on or off yourself, but this streamlines the process of making sure that your power settings are enforced when you launch a game on battery to improve endurance. The final new smart technology is smart access graphics. As we know by now, a MUX chip on a gaming laptop is a must for best performance. It switches the display between the integrated graphics and dedicated graphics so they don't have to work through each other, which improves performance and responsiveness in gaming by up to around 15%. And when you're not gaming, connecting directly to the integrated graphics improves power efficiency. SAG then is basically an easy marketing way to say that the laptops got one of these chips automatically routing the display signal, which is great because nobody else is doing that right now. Some of the first laptops under the new Advantage program with all of these new features will be Alienware M17 R5 and the ROG Zephyrus G14, the latter of which now features a webcam, and I believe we have a hands-on coming later this week, so make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss it. The final noteworthy announcement is AMD's next entry-level GPU, the RX 6500 XT. It's got a spicy 2.6 GHz game clock and a modest 16 compute units and 16 megs of infinity cache. So you can expect 1080p medium or high depending on the game and whether you want to use AMD's FidelityFX super resolution scaling algorithm, which by the way, will soon have a universal toggle in the driver in the form of Radeon super resolution. AMD claims about 20 to 60% more performance compared to the GTX 1650. And they say they're targeting people with multi-generation old GPUs, emphasizing that it's priced aggressively and being manufactured in high volumes. We will see. The release date is two weeks away on January 19th with a suggested e-tailer price of 199, which assuming you can actually buy one might actually be low enough to persuade many desperate gamers at this point. That about wraps it up for AMD CES announcements. I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to get my hands on the 5800X3D and then Zen 4 later this year. Anything you're excited for? Any bets on Intel's response? And Pat Gelsinger sure won't take this lying down. Mm -hmm. mm. This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped provides an all-in-one grooming kit that has you covered from head to toe. Their Performance Package 4.0 features their Lawnmower 4.0 Waterproof Body Trimmer, their Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Trimmer, plus a whole bunch of other goodies. For a limited time, you get all of this plus two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and Manscaped's Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Visit manscaped.com tech or click the link down below for 20% off and free shipping. Thanks for watching guys. Go check out our video on AMD basically selling broken PS5s for a little more strange behavior from Team Red. It makes more sense than you think.